What's up guys? It's your boy Shane Alex, aka Multigaming91, baby. Uh yeah, we're on FIFA, we're not on COD right now. Why are we on FIFA? Are you asking? That's because the market is fucked, man. It's not even team of the year yet. I wanna give I wanna show you guys. The market is fucked. Ebra. Ebra's normal card. Watch this, boys. It is mad. The last time I checked, it was about 108. 108k for us for a fresh, clean Zlatan Ibrahimovic. When has Ibrahimovic ever been 108k? 108k for the Zlatan. Let, let's go even further along. Marco Royce. We know Marco Royce is a very, very good player on the game. Usually about 150 to 200k. When there's a price influx around 100k, right? Yep. 70k for Marco Royce. 70 fucking k? I can't believe the prices. Let's go even further than that. Let's go with Lionel Messi. Bear in mind, I've got 606k. Think, think about that. People who have got millions and millions of like, have got like 5 million coins, man. Just think about it. How much players they could possibly buy. L Lionel Messi. 700, 790k. The cheapest one. 790k for a Lionel Messi. When has Messi ever been below a million at this stage in a FIFA ever? Never. From what I can remember, he has never been below a million. Only after when Team of the Season comes up. So I remember on FIFA 14, FIFA 13, Ronaldo and Messi were like 500k after Team of the Season. This is like just before FIFA 15 came out, FIFA 14. But this is this is absolutely crazy, guys. And uh, people are going... On like the forums and stuff, I just want to let you know, guys. People are going absolutely mad. Like the prices are too low. We have ruined the game. But do you want me to tell you why the prices are so low? I really do want this card, though. This Latin card. Do you want me to tell you why the prices are so low, guys? Because there's no, there's no like coin glitches anymore, right? Because remember last year and the year before where there was coin glitches and Ronaldo was like 3.5 million and Messi was like 2.7. That is ridiculous. There's no coin glitches anymore. There is no bots on the game which can create those coins. Uh, they ban you out of the market. You have to buy FIFA points if you want to make a good influx of coins. See if anyone buys that because I really want the orange card. There is... The markets are split, so PS3 and PS4 are all separate. That's another reason why the players are so cheap. Do you want me to tell you why as well? The big thing, EA have released so many good cards. Like this this purple Lewandowski. They released it like in week three. I had it for a little bit and look how cheap it is now. My friend packed him and he was a million. And now he's 272 coins. Not even selling. It's crazy man how like times have changed around FIFA. And it's like you look at the prices now and it's ridiculous. And I, I'm stressing to tell you now guys. Don't buy anybody now. It's very tempting to buy Zlatan Ibrahimovic for, for about 100k. I know it is, but I guarantee you, this time next week, he will be 80, 70, 60k. Do you want to know why? Because Team of the Year is next week. People are selling the players like crazy to get coins for those Team of the Year players. Right? And then people are going to... All next week, the packs are going to be absolutely smashed open. Like, there's going to be more packs than the beginning of the game because the best players are out on the game, on PS4 anyway. Come team of the year, those are the best players that you're ever going to get on PS4. Because Legends are on Xbox and some of them are better than the team of the year. But There's a really crap team of the week coming out this starting today and then finishing next week. So that might push these players up by like an extra like 20k, but nothing nothing major. Because no pack's going to be open, but I guarantee you, I'd say at the weekend, next week... Next, not not this Saturday, next week on Saturday. That's when all of the Team of the Year players come in packs. That's when the most packs are going to be opened. Because every that's why, that's why I've got 8,000 FIFA points there. I'm ready for that. All the players are going to be in. 
So everyone's going to be smashing those packs open and players are going to get packed and it's going to bring down the prices. And you're going to, if you've got, I'd say, 500k, you can create one of the best teams ever on the game. So I'm just letting you know about the prices, guys. It's really, really low. I've been looking at Orange Eber here and he went for 699k. That is ridiculous. I'm hoping he goes to about 600k. If he does, I might buy him and build a team around him. But yeah, it's been your boy Shane Alex, aka Multigaming91. And I'm out, y'all. Peace!